everybody out there today. Today we have uh, a really nice mail day and um, we got a few things that I uh, want to show off. And to start, we're going to go with a Hall of Fame uh, baseball player, Ozzie Smith. Not only is it a uh, Hall of Famer, but uh, this is his rookie card. And uh, not one, but two Ozzie Smith uh, signed cards. So, uh, two of my favorite Ozzy Smith cards. I remember watching Ozzy uh, with my grandmother, who grew up uh, and lived in Missouri. And I had these um, sent off to a private signing. And uh, of course, both are JSA'd. And two of my favorite Ozzy Smith cards. Uh, I did not have an Ozzy, my, uh, an Ozzy Smith signed card. And I requested uh, specifically this one to be signed in gold and went ahead um, with this one in gold as well. Uh, kind of to pay homage to his glove. I mean, I know he's uh, known for his flip also uh, that he would do from time to time in the field, but I thought uh, his glove, um, I mean, the play, the barehanded stab he made on the dive when he was with the Padres early in his career, just one of the most phenomenal plays uh, that uh, you could see. So it was very entertaining in the field, um, very, um, very fun to watch. Um, kind of had a flair for the dramatic, hit uh, a really big home run, not many home runs, but a big home run in his career um, to propel uh, St. Louis in the playoffs. And thought these would uh, be great uh, to add to our collection. So I'm um, going to stuff those right there and uh, open our uh, Pop Fly Pop Shop. Um, again, these are just great Facebook, great uh, YouTube follow. I'll try to link it on our uh, page, but he does uh, kind of mix his comic book characters with uh, baseball, which you can't go wrong, in my opinion at least. Uh, very well packaged. And um, this issue right here, Surely uh, anybody who's watched uh, baseball um, and uh, anybody who's collected baseball cards are familiar with error cards. This is the, uh, the infamous 1989 Bill Ripken Fleer card uh, is what this uh, pays homage to. So uh, pretty cool. Everything um, obviously has a little bit of a, an homage to what happened. Dates. Um, the... Uh, you see the little marker down here in this little dude's hand. So obviously it's uh, um, something I'm gonna open and, and display and uh, eventually I'll tell my kids about it. Uh, but a very cool piece um, from the creator, Daniel Jacob Green. Um, this is the uh, like a little ticket that comes with everyone. It's got the information for where you can check it out. Uh, Facebook fade page is a great follow as well. Um, he puts out a new one every week. The price has gone up. Um, it's uh, I think it's, they're fifty dollars um, each now. Um, so you used to be able to get them for a little bit cheaper than that. Um, but I think it's well worth it. It makes some great art, and of course, always uh, includes a pack of cards or something pretty cool with each purchase. Um, so might as well open up some old stadium club. This is what, 1991, 92 stadium club. Um, got Earl Hershiser. Looks like he's, you know, hanging out in front of a fireplace there. Mark Lemke. Sure, he was doing something veterany. Uh, Sandy Alomar Jr. So, really good catcher. Probably one of the best catchers uh, of the 90s. Uh, Notwithstanding Pedro Rodriguez. Got Dave Stewart uh, in the Tux. Reminds me of the Nolan Ryan card. Carlos Quintana. Got Bruce Ruffin. Jay Buner. Jack Howell. Dick Schofield. Carney Lansford. And Ricky Jordan. So interesting packs. But to the main event, which is, been getting a few of these shipments in lately. 
nice little box. You see this uh, red tape, you know where it's from. It is PSA hooking us up with some awesome cards. Uh, some slabbed cards. So PSA continues to catch up. Um, they've announced that they're starting to open back up uh, post July 1. Although it's for, if you want to spend a lot of money for a card, <laughs> to be graded. I think their premium grading is uh, available. So still not for, um, still not the uh, regular Joes like me. But anyway, looks like we got two boxes. Cards are from the 50s, pre 50s, 50s and before. Yeah, I think pre 60s. Anything before 1960. Um, and had uh, 40 cards. So I guess uh, each of these boxes has 20 slabs in it. And there's 20. and it looks like we're all graded which is a good thing I um, do not expect high grades on these cards um, just because they're all some of them are older than my dad um, they're all uh, I said pre-60s I um, had quite a few old cards you had to send so many I think you had to send maybe 25 or something and so I sent uh, the old cards I had, and of course, cards that old aren't going to be in that great of shape, in my opinion, but we'll see. We're going to start with a 1955 Tops, Bo McMillan, um, All-American, went to Center College, was part of the one of the greatest upsets of college football history. Center beat Harvard six to nothing. And uh, he was one of the first uh, coaches of the Detroit Lions. I think he also coached the Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, at any rate, I uh, went to my alma mater, so that's the reason uh, I really wanted this um, slabbed. Got a very good three, so uh, certainly we'll take it. So pretty cool there. It talks about uh, most people uh, outside of Kentucky, may not have heard of Center College, but uh, crushing teams like Clemson, Kentucky, Tulane, um, Bo McMillan. So, pretty good uh, start there. We're going to go with a 1958 Tops, Larry Doby. So, I tried, uh, this was a, a very good, excellent four. I uh, tried to uh, send some cards that I thought looked in pretty decent shape. Um, so I didn't send every card, obviously, I had from uh, this era, but we'll take it. Um, let's see. And then I, I sit here, uh, it's been a year since I sent these, and I'm like, wow. Uh, Hoyt Wilhelm, 1959 Tops, a 1 1.5, and I believe that indicates a mark. So um, I think it was $7.50 maybe to grade each of these. So um, I guess I probably wanted or needed a Hoyt Wilhelm. Um, and I even see the mark now. I don't even remember seeing the mark when I sent this. So um, questionable send on my behalf, but we got it back. <laughs> we got a 1958 Topps Bobby Thompson, um, a four. Um, the uh, Cubs logo there. So, of course, hit the shot around the world um, for uh, the Giants back in the day. Giants win the pennant. Got a 1958 Tops Stan Musial, all-star variety. Uh, that's got a three. I'm assuming the, uh, the centering is a big part of that. Also, we've got a mark indicator. Um, so, I'm sure... Um, they look at these with microscope lens, whatnot. Have the uh, well, I say microscope, but 
have some of the best stuff to look at them. But uh, magnifying glass, whatever. But cool looking card, very affordable. With, uh, one of the greatest ball players of all time, same usual. Speaking of which, this is a 1959 tops. Mutual wraps out 3,000 hit. And again, um, 1.5. So um, I kind of see, this looks like a stain or something. I don't even remember that being there. Um, but it's not denoted on the actual uh, grade. So just never know. Um, it just uh, shows you that this is one of the earliest, I, mean, I think this is the second submission I sent to PSA. 1957 Tops Robin Roberts. Uh, this got a three. So one of the first submissions I sent to PSA and I just really didn't know a whole lot about what I was doing when I sent it. So $7.50 uh, a card to get slabbed up seemed like a pretty good deal and I guess it is considering um, what it costs now. 1955 Bowman Kiwi Reese um, got a 1.5, so they're just they're pretty much saying your card is almost garbage, but um, we someone liked it a tad bit, just a tad bit. So this is a so these cards are obviously a little bit bigger in scale. So there is the Pee from very close by. Bill. Mazeroski, 1957 tops. This is a VG3. Um, this is his rookie card. Um, this is sent this because um, I need it for the post-war Hall of Fame rookies uh, registry, part of uh, PSA. So glad to add that to the collection. Got a 1953 Bowman color Eddie Stanky. Uh, which was a good two. And again, I see a, a crease down here, another crease up here. So um, I think I'll have to go back and look. I may have added a few of these just because I had to. I was, maybe the limit was 30, 35, I don't know. But here is a, uh, another 1958 Tops Larry Doby. This was a three. Um, first African American player. In the American League um, and a Hall of Famer. Here is a 1953 Tops Connie Ryan um, from the Fighting Phillies. So uh, obviously 53 is uh, what uh, Tops Living is based on. Uh, I believe he uh, even managed uh, the Rangers at some point. Or briefly, Texas Rangers. So, um, pretty interesting card. And I think that is why I sent it in, because I'm a Rangers fan. We've got a 1954 Tops Al Smith. Uh, this is a very good three. Um, he, um, I think Al Smith is the one who had the Coke or the, the water or whatever beverage dumped on him. At a uh, baseball game, uh, I think at Wrigley Field, if I recall correctly. But uh, it's kind of a cool card, 1954 tops, definitely a good style. Another Hall of Famer, 1954 Bowman, Nelly Fox, Nelson Fox. So this is a two, a good, um, and just a different, uh, actually, style card than what you get these days, but. Nevertheless, kind of a cool looking, cool looking card. Got uh, Hall of Famer Monty Irvin, 1955 tops. Um, this is a three. So um, I think, I'm guessing the 53, 54, 55, I didn't have a lot of these particularly slabbed and thought it would be kind of cool to have a, a couple from each year slabbed is I think why I sent some of these in. Um, and tried to choose some of the best players that I had or um, players that had good or compelling um, stories with them. So that might explain some of these. Now we're getting into uh, some of the big guns, which is good. Here is a 1954 Tops Jackie Robinson. Um, 
So a two, which, you know, I gotta say, I'm not uh, too upset about a two. Um, it could have probably easily been a one or 1 1.5, but uh, just a beautiful card. Probably one of the sweetest cards I, I own, um, even though it's just a two. But uh, again, great looking card, uh, Jack Roosevelt Robinson. So we all know Jackie Robinson, uh, number 42, and a uh, oh, tremendous card. Um, I have another rookie, so I've been waiting on this card to add to my set. This is a 1956 Topps Luis Aparicio. Um, cool looking card, uh, of course. Um, the big shortstop for, for Chicago. Uh, very good glove, uh, very good player, obviously. Made the Hall of Fame, and this is his rookie card. So, very nice. Venezuelan. Very nice to add to the collection. We've got a 1958 Topps Willie Mays. And this one is a, um, it's a great looking uh, photo of Willie. I'll say, hey kid. And uh, got a 1.5, so a fair condition. Uh, actually, to me, looks a little bit better uh, than the Jackie Robinson card, but um, what I know. The uh, next card here, 1958 Topps, Ryan Duran. This was a two. Um, Ryan Duran, if you don't know, is who Ryan Sandberg was named after, according to Ryan Sandberg's parents. Of course, if y'all watch our channel, you know I named my second born Ryan, spelled the same way, after Sandberg. Um, but I just thought it was cool. Uh, Ryan Duran was also the um, the muse or um, the person that they had in mind when they made the movie Major League and they created Charlie Sheen. Um, so Ron Duran was said to have a thick, I think it was described as Coke bottle glasses, threw really hard but didn't necessarily know where he was throwing the ball. Um, and so pretty funny, obviously, um, when you think about Wild Thing. He was the original Wild Thing um, and hitters uh, were really scared of him. Um, back when he pitched for the Yankees in the 50s. And uh, I think he was, uh, he won a game in the, uh, was it the 58 World Series he won a game in? Uh, I think it was against Milwaukee. We're jumping straight into some uh, old, old cards. I said these were pre-60s. This is a Topps 206, T206, Sweet Caporal Bill uh, Dalen, Bad Bill. Um, this is a 1.5. This is a, uh, a guy who, I think uh, will make the Hall of Fame just based on, I think he has the highest uh, position player war, even highest war uh, of anybody who um, is not in the Hall of Fame, at least pre-modern day. Um, so, you know, 1.5, that's a really old card. Uh, I think uh, 1909 to 1911, um, somewhere in that time frame. So, very cool. This is... Uh, Another one, very similar. Um, this is a Topps T206, but this is Piedmont, a different back. So, obviously the same card, but a different back. So, um, some of these are, are more rare, and um, some of them not as, but at any rate, I picked up a few of these uh, last year. Um, I think the Veterans Committee votes I think um, for his era, I think they're voting in December, if I'm not not mistaken. So picked up a couple of those to get graded and have one more. Um, so another T206, also Piedmont, uh, Bill Dalen, uh, also uh, 1.5. So old, old cards, um, obviously, um, the cigar cards um, from a uh, just a very popular set. Glad those came back authentic. And um, one more card over here that I've uh, left out. This is another Hall of Famer rookie card, Topps rookie card, Harmon Killebrew. So this is 1955 Topps. Um, it's a good looking card. Um, obviously, uh, when he was the uh, a Washington, is this Washington Nationals. For some reason, I was thinking they were the uh, Senators, but. Uh, they uh, ended up becoming the um, 
Minnesota Twins. So, great looking card. Harmon Killebrew, he could hit a ball a mile. If you go to the uh, uh, the mall in Minnesota, the real famous one, the biggest mall, Mall of America, um, they've got, it's, it's on the side of where Minnesota, where the Twins began to play originally, and um, before the Metrodome. And uh, anyway, you can go and stand on the original home plate there. Uh, it's it's marked uh, inside of the Mall of America. And there's also a, just randomly, there's a chair, uh, a seat from the old field. Uh, Metropolitan Stadium or something along those lines. At any rate, uh, it signifies where uh, Harmon Killebrew hit a, a 500 plus home run. So it's pretty neat uh, if you know what you're looking for when you go to Mall of America. Here is one of the greatest players, one of the original uh, five Hall of Famers. Um, and I think the last Honus Wagner card made, I guess for his playing days. You can see uh, it is a 1948 Leaf. Um, so a, a tremendous set, beautiful color. Um, this is a one. It is a beautiful card on the front, hideous on the back, but um, obviously had been glued uh, to an album. But nevertheless, very um, very cool card to have Honus Wagner. He was not even the um, the top dog, the top manager. Um, I think he was a hitting coach, maybe. Um, I guess he's putting a little tobacco in his mouth or something interesting there. You wouldn't see that on cards these days. But he um, he had such staying power. I would assume, uh, from being famous, um, that uh, Leaf put him in the 1948 set. So, very cool, um, fairly affordable Honus Wagner card. Um, if you um, if you want a Honus Wagner card, uh, speaking of the T206 set that I have, here is another Hall of Fame rookie from uh, 1948 Leaf. It's that Warren Spawn uh, rookie. Again, just absolutely beautiful card, um, tremendous card. Uh, on the front, the back, kind of the same, same story. Um, ripped from an album. Somebody uh, glued it to an album at some point. If they'd only known what these cards uh, could or would be worth. Uh, but uh, tremendous, tremendous looking card. And we've got uh, the Lou Boudreau uh, 1948 Leaf. This one uh, actually came uh, as a 1.5. Uh, fair. So, also has um, damage to the back. Obviously, you can see where that glue still is. So, but I guess it's uh, it's a little bit more intact, um, which uh, probably helped with the grade there. So, not as much paper or, or stuff ripped off of it. So, very cool card. We've got a uh, another Hall of Fame rookie. Uh, 1948 Leaf, Ralph Kiner. Um, so again, just a vibrant color, great uh, great condition uh, for the front of the card. Just tremendous. Um, great pirate, of course. Um, and then you go to the back, and um, that's what you see. So, but I uh, was really glad, um, really glad to, uh, to get these. And I actually bought these 48 Leaf cards uh, in a lot with a uh, the Stan Usual rookie. But uh, 1949 Bowman, Robin Roberts. Uh, again, another um, post-war Hall of Fame rookie. Um, very cool looking card. Obviously, uh, the 49 Bowman, a um, little bit a uh, little bit smaller than the 48 Leaf set, uh, but some like I said, some really good vibrant colors. Uh, cool to see these players. Uh, this is what the back of those 49 Bowman cards look like um, when they've been glued to something else, um, but have some different colors. Um, so, very cool card. Um, continue on our stack, we've got uh, 1949 Bowman Johnny Pesky. Um, so, um, if you haven't heard of Johnny Pesky, you might uh, be familiar with what's named after him, which is at right field fair or foul pole, however you want to call it, in Boston at Fenway Park. It's Pesky's Pole. Uh, this is the guy. So uh, I think everybody autographs it, and uh, 
he played right field and I'm sure wrapped a few uh, balls uh, right around that uh, short porch pole. So again, you see the, the paper on the back, unfortunately, but it is what it is. Another big Hall of Fame rookie card here. 1949 Bowman Roy Campanella. So very uh, tremendous looking card. Um, good little portrait there. Um, probably one of the greatest Hall of Fame uh, catchers uh, that ever played. Uh, unfortunately, career was derailed by a motor vehicle collision, uh, which rendered him unable to play, paralyzed. But it's a pretty tough auto to get, um, but very cool. Uh, made the Hall of Fame, played uh, obviously for Brooklyn. Another Hoyt Wilhelm, uh, knuckleballer. This one, 1953 tops. Um, this is uh, his second year card. I think his rookie is 52 tops. Um, so this one's got uh, pretty rough. Um, obviously got a one, uh, but I just love the 53 cards. Uh, I think it was a Hall of Famer, and um, I thought, I'm gonna send that in, Hall of Fame, 1953 tops. So another Bowman, 49 Bowman. Uh, this is uh, Phil Rizzuto, uh, 1949 Bowman, no name on front. Um, so I don't think uh, the other 49 Bowmans had name on front either, but uh, ooh, yeah, it's, it's in much rougher shape. So I think you could probably try to pull some of that stuff off. Um, I chose not to um, and was hoping for, to be honest, was hoping just for authenticated cards. I'm very pleased to have received a one on that, so um, I will take it. Here's Hall of Famer Ed Matthews, 1958 Tops. This is a good two. Um, so, uh, obviously centering's off, corners uh, a little rough, um, printing not perfect. Uh, obviously uh, centering off, but um, cool old card to have. Obviously a uh, Hall of Famer, power hitter. So, 1952 tops, Arrestus Minoso. So, Mini Minoso. Um, that's a really good grade for this card, a four. Um, didn't see that coming. Um, it's got a, uh, a small chunk out of the corner up here, and it's clearly off center. Um, this is someone who I think also will go into the Hall of Fame very soon. This is his rookie card. Um, from the vaunted, the very first uh, 1952 Tops uh, baseball set. Um, very cool card. Um, I don't have a whole lot of 1952 Tops cards. Um, you know, just to think that this could have been in a pack with a 52 Mantle or, um, you know, any of those cards really. Um, tremendous, tremendous cards. So um, I think this card will probably uh, go up a tick in value once uh, Many of also makes the Hall of Fame which I think will happen for a lot of years and quite a few teams. <clears throat> Another 1953 Tops Hall of Famer, Yogi Berra. Um, this card I actually um, had a little bit higher hopes for than a 1.5, um, but uh, we'll gladly uh, take the authenticated card. Um, just a, uh, like I said, a beautiful card and the basis for that Tops Living set. I um, would have loved to open packs of these as a kid. Um, so, not his uh, not his rookie. His rookie was several years, obviously, before this. But um, just thought it was a sweet uh, card and, and wanted to have it slabbed. And here we are. Got a uh, another Hall of Fame rookie card. Uh, this one's on the post-war registry. This is Orlando Cepeda. Uh, this is a four. Um, Cepeda still signs. Uh, I think, uh, infrequently, does private signing. So um, this would be a sweet card to have uh, with a Cepeda Auto, but there is, uh, uh, of course, the back of that card. So um, that 58 tops is just interesting, uh, different backgrounds and things of that nature. So probably seen it uh, if you open uh, Tops Archives or um, sets like that. Down to our last few here, we've got uh, 1957 Tops Pee Wee Reese. So pretty cool, uh, pretty cool stance there. 
needs to have that hand uh, over that glove there. Uh, a little bit better fundamentals, but I'm sure he wasn't thinking fundamentals when he was posing for a picture. Um, but uh, got a very good, excellent four. So that 1957 Tops card, number 30, really cool. From Akron, Kentucky, which is not very far at all from here. So down to our last few, we've got 1955 Tops Al Kaline, Mr. Tiger. Um, this was a one. Um, man, it's got a uh, it has got a uh, crease right down the middle of it. Uh, beautiful card itself. I mean, just the the picture and. Uh, I like the Tiger mascot. Uh, this is a second year K line. Uh, I do have a rookie, um, but this is a um, nice card to have. I like to add that to the collection uh, of slab cards, and so I did. Um, 1959 Tops Hammer and Hank Aaron. So um, this is a 1.5, um, so it's in fair condition. Um, you can see it's got uh, a crease right there in that corner. Obviously, it's off-center. Um, has some printing defects, but uh, just had this card of, uh, of Hank Aaron. Wanted to slab it, um, be able to display it, and um, pretty, uh, pretty nice card. And at least the last card we've got, which uh, looks like I guess I had two of these, so um, another Bill Mazeroski. Uh, rookie 1957 tops. This one is a good two. So I hope everyone uh, enjoyed uh, our PSA reveal today um, and um, opening our pop five pop shop and our Aussie autographs. So uh, kind of a big mail day um, today. So happy to uh, get some of these uploaded in the PSA registry, uh, which is about what I'm going to do now. And uh, thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.